Dustin with TechMD. Today we're going to be fixing the Xbox One X. Um, now this is most likely the Xbox or the HDMI uh, retimer IC chip. Um, when you plug it in, no display. I don't hear any hard drive clickings and unfortunately I don't have any hard drives to test. But if you do, that's a, a good option because it might be just as simple as replacing the hard drive with another good known hard drive. Um, also, there's some other components, but this one is the most common. And I've done this several times. I just haven't made a video yet about it. Um, so we are going to make a video today and hopefully it's just the chip. So yeah, this is the chip itself. And you're gonna need a T9, T8 or T10. Um, I recommend the T9 because it works pretty much on everything in here. Uh, but these are technically t T10s. Um, and to be honest, I have no clue where my other bits are. We're gonna go ahead and just remove the warranty tag as this is expired already. My little drill bit with uh, a new bit on here. Um, well, it's not new anymore, but it's W-E-R. They were very expensive. Well, this thing does not want to set up. It should just slide on out. Let's get this a good shot. Don't mind my messy desk. So this is sl uh, slides right under there a little bit and comes off. It's kind of a pain to put back onto, but just be aware. All right, uh, next we're going to go ahead and just remove all these screws. Um, you don't have to remove them all at once, but I like to personally. And then I just try to keep them organized based on how I find them. Uh, best way to do that is to have another pad off to the side or try to organize it over here. My drill died, so I can have to wait a little bit, unfortunately. But we can disconnect this here. It's just a connector here that you gotta be careful with. And then we're gonna disconnect these. Um, I think we can take off the top at the moment. Or the bottom, I should say. actually have to disconnect this thing first. Just carefully lift up that tab. And pull that out. Looks like it's Overlapping the CD drive a little bit there. And we got two screws here and then these side panels here we're gonna remove. So another seven screws, eight screws, but unfortunately my drill's dead, so I'm gonna wait for that to charge for a moment. Got my drill charged up a little bit more. Take it right here. 
just gonna mark left and right side. I can spell on there. Now, question is, did I do the same? No. Left top, right bottom. That way I know my orientation of my screws and hopefully everything can come apart the same. Same with this, just gonna mark left and right because the screw sizes are different and I've known that if I don't mark them, they're not gonna go back in the correct. Holes. Holy moly, that's a long screw. Also, just gonna mark gold screws here. That way we know the golden screws are there. All right, next we're gonna take this off carefully, just lift it up, set in our pile of other stuff. Carefully lift this piece up. twist this off. We are snapped in good. Maybe it's, yeah. There we go. We got the top off there. Could be bottom. I don't remember which way is which. Um there you go. pliers. Go ahead and disconnect these cables from behind. Make sure you grab all the wires to do that. Okay, now that we've removed the drive, let's go ahead and remove the hard drive. Carefully wiggle that out. And next, there's our SATA cable. Should easily just come out since we removed all the screws. Our fan. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just lift this piece out. That's our fan shard and our power supply. Okay, I, I, I just left those in there. You really don't need to remove them. If they get in your way, you can. And these are the T8 screws I remember. Um, I'm not sure if my T9 screw will work here.
Okay, next is we're going to take off the X clamps. I uh, usually have always done this in the past with a flat head. All right, so we're going to use, hopefully some tweezers will work since we don't have our flat head. Oh yeah, that works. Tweezers that work? work, yeah. Great. So just kind of slightly loosen these up and try not to have it come up like that. Careful of these resistors right here. Maybe uh, this works too. Nope, way too big. Remember the size? Right. Look what I'm doing on the screen. See? Right. Try not to let my tool slip either. Should be able to wiggle this off as I remember. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, okay, let's push these through. We're gonna set our heat sink aside. And we're looking for this chip right here. This is the HDMI retimer but these fuses can go out and this can also get some lightning damage as well causing no display. But 90% 90, 90 of the time it's this. 